Round two of the presidential debates and both candidates came out swinging. We have fewer people working today than we had when the president took office. And Governor Romney says he's got a five-point plan. Governor Romney doesn't have a five-point plan. He has a one-point plan. Within the first 10 minutes, they disagreed over the unemployment rate, how to handle Detroit, and their respective job growth plans. He said that, I said we should take Detroit bankrupt. And, and that's right. My plan was to have the company go through bankruptcy like 7-Eleven did at Macy's and, and uh, uh, at Continental Airlines and come out stronger. What Governor Romney said just isn't true. He wanted to take them into bankruptcy without providing them any way to stay open. And we would have lost a million jobs. When it's most the town hall format saw both candidates on their feet, sometimes circling each other as they responded to questions from undecided voters. There were a whole bunch of oil companies. No, I, I, had a, no, you, I, had a, you, I had a question, and the question you, was, how you much want, did you cut them you by? You want me to answer How a much question? did you cut them by? That the State Department refused extra security for our embassy in Benghazi, Libya, prior to the attacks that killed four Americans. Who was it that denied enhanced security and why? I send them there, oftentimes in a harm's way. I know these folks. So as soon as we found out that the Benghazi consulate was being overrun, I was on the phone with my national security team and I gave them three instructions. Number one, beef up our security and, say, uh, and, and procedures not just in Libya, but in every embassy and consulate in the region. Number two, investigate exactly what happened, regardless of where the facts lead us, to make sure that folks are held accountable and it doesn't happen again. You said in the Rose Garden, the day after the attack, it was an act of terror. It was not a Please spontaneous proceed. demonstration. Is that what you're saying? Please proceed, Governor. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record, because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi an act of terror. Get the transcript. It, 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 he did, in, in fact, sir. So let me, let me call it an act of Can terror. Can you say that a little louder, Candy? He, he, he did call it an act of terror. It did as well take... It did as well uh, take uh, two weeks or so uh, for the whole idea of there being a riot out there about this tape uh, to come out. You're correct this, about that. The candidates discuss the economy, energy policy, and how women might fare under their leadership. And that plan is to make sure that folks at the top play by a different set of rules. That's been his philosophy in the private sector. That's been his philosophy as governor. That's been his philosophy as a presidential candidate. The president has tried, but his policies haven't worked. He's great as a, as a, 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 as a speaker. And, and describing his plans and his vision, that's wonderful, except we have a record to look at. The latest Reuters Ipsos poll shows Obama with a slim lead, 46 percent to Romney's 43 percent, with three weeks to go until Election Day.